Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I was working with a customer the other day. They asked me to help illustrate uh, performance issues because we weren't quite sure what it was. And then I showed them that it was probably one drive that was holding everything up. And I'll walk you through some of the tips and tricks that I gave the guy. So here in the office, I want to try to replicate the same thing. The server's name is Churchill and Z is uh, mapped to that and H is mapped to that. Now the big difference is I did this intentionally. H is actually uh, pointing to a USB 1.0 flash drive and I did of course I did that intentionally I was trying to illustrate a slow uh, disk system or file system. So what I did was I copied a 13 meg file uh, to both uh, both drives the H and the Z and I captured the packets so let's go through them. Here's the first trace file H and again H is that slow one all right so we'll start with the slow one first doesn't matter which one we do and the first thing I want to do is find out how long this took and and the, the person's suggestion to uh, comment to me was where do I start because it's just a bunch of packets and I said first thing is we do make sure you have a filter between you and the server so you don't have any extraneous stuff second thing we'll do is pick the same packet in both traces and and I almost don't care which one you pick so for example request file 13 meg we can do that one that's fine right click and we'll do the time set time reference when you do that it says hey your time reference won't work because I have a delta time and can I change that sure I change that so now I've got this kind of stopwatch effect where it's timing how long the session took so I've done that with that that H trace file so now I'm gonna go to the other one and this is the Z or Z and same deal uh, you, you'd want to find that exact same packet um, sure that one that's good and same thing time reference yes and now I have again so create request file 13 meg and then over here we had uh, create request file 13 meg so we're trying to make sure we're trying to keep this as consistent as possible I'm going to press the end and over here um, I told him let's just go with the read response again as long as we pick the same one that's 18 seconds and that's the H which is the um, the first test there and then Z is the fast one so let's go to the bottom and same deal we can just do close response again as long as as long as you oops close response there it is so close response close response so this one was 19 and this was 3 so that's pretty pretty obvious that all of a sudden we can see a Z is fast H is slow and that's the way um, I design that. What else can you do? Well, I said, hey, you know what you can do? Let's go to View. Let's go to Packet Details. And we can actually come over to the frame header. And we're going to use this uh, field name. So time delta from previously displayed frame. Right click, copy, and field name. So now I don't have to type it in. So stats IO. And this is our IO graph. It's not really telling us too much right now. So we're going to change our unit to advanced. And by doing that, now I can paste that field name and change this to the average. So it's going to give me the average time per, in this case, second. So I'm going to hit graph one. And by doing that, now I can see there's my average response time or delta time, if you will, uh, between frames. So this isn't an exact science, and you could have done it three million other ways, but this, this is just a, a great way to start. So that's the first one. Now let me do the same thing with the other one. Again, stats, IO. And we're going to do the same deal here. Unit, advanced, paste, and average. And hit the graph one button. So you can see there, super fast. So I might want to change that interval instead of per second, I'll do 0.1, okay, or hundredth of a second. And by doing that, it gives me a little bit more granularity there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with my other one. So I'm going to take this, 0.1. And now you can see a lot more delay. See that? So now I know that file system is definitely slow. It's not the server, because the server was fine over here, wasn't it? The network's fine, the router's fine, the switch is fine, the PC's fine, everything's fine. But now when we go to this drive, the H drive, you can see there's definite latency. So in the real world, what could that be? Fragmented drive, it could be a full uh, disk system, it could be an old disk system mixed with a newer NAS, who knows? So that's just one simple way of starting to document the problem. And then when you make your change, you can remeasure and find out if the latency went away. There you go. Have a good day. Bye for now.